Hello everyone and welcome to the land of sunshine, surf and stunning natural beauty, Australia. I hear it calling you too. That irresistible pull of adventure, of new beginnings, of finally learning how to pronounce G'day properly. It's G'day, by the way. Well, you're in the right place. Whether you're dreaming of sun-kissed beaches, vibrant cities or the rugged outback, migrating to Australia is an exciting journey, but like a good neighbor, I'm here to help you with a few tips to make your move as smooth as a freshly poured pint of Foster's. So buckle up, grab a Tim Tam or two, and let's get started. Right then, before you pack your budgie smugglers and your best cork hat, let's talk visas. Australia has a visa for everyone, but choosing the right one is crucial. It's a bit like trying to find the perfect sausage roll. There are so many options. There's the skilled independent visa for those with skills Australia needs. Are you a whiz at barbecuing? The family stream visa for those with relatives down under and the ever popular working holiday visa for those who want to earn some Aussie dollars while soaking up the sun. Now, I know what you're thinking, Graham. This sounds more complicated than understanding cricket. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. There are loads of resources available online. The Department of Home Affairs website is a great place to start. Remember, applying for a visa can take time, so it's best to get cracking early. You don't want to miss out on the Barbie season, do you? Now let's talk about the cost of living in Australia. Sydney and Melbourne, those glitzy cities you've seen on the telly, can be a tad pricey, a bit like trying to buy a round in a posh London pub. But fear not, my frugal friends, there are ways to stretch your Aussie dollars further than a kangaroo hop. Firstly, consider living in a share house. It's a great way to meet people and save some dosh. Plus, you'll have someone to share those Tim Tams with. Secondly, embrace the Aussie love of a good bargain. Op shops, markets and online marketplaces are your new best friends. You can find everything from furniture to fashion at a fraction of the cost. Trust me, you'll be a seasoned bargain hunter in no time. Chapter 3. Good day. Job landing your dream gig down under. Right, let's talk shop, or rather, job hunting. Finding work in Australia is like trying to find a decent cuffer in America. It might take a bit of searching, but you'll get there. Start by updating your CV with your best Aussie slang. Hard Yakka and Bonza are always winners. Then jump online and check out websites like Seek Indeed and LinkedIn. Networking is also key, so get yourself out there and mingle. Attend industry events, join professional groups, and don't be afraid to strike up a conversation at the pub. Australians are a friendly bunch. And remember, a little bit of Aussie charm goes a long way. Practice your best good day, mate, and you'll be right as rain. Chapter 4. From bangers and mash to barbies and thongs, embracing the Aussie way of life. Australia is a melting pot of cultures, a bit like a giant pavlova, diverse, delicious, and with a whole lot of sweetness. But like any new place, it has its own unique customs and quirks. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it in no time. First things first, Australians are a laid back bunch. They love a good laugh, a cold beer, and a barbie with mates. So loosen up, embrace the casual vibe, and don't be afraid to crack a joke or two. Now let's talk lingo. Australians have a knack for shortening words and adding O to the end. Thongs are flip-flops, togs are swimsuits, and Arvo is afternoon. It's like a secret code. But once you crack it, you'll be speaking Aussie like a true blue. Oh, and don't be surprised if you hear the word mate thrown around a lot. It's basically a term of endearment for everyone. Chapter 5. Home Sweet Aussie Home. Finding your place down under, finding a place to live in Australia is like trying to choose a favorite Hemsworth brother. There are so many great options. From the beaches of Bondi to the hip laneways of Melbourne, there's a neighborhood to suit every taste and budget. If you're after a bustling city life, Sydney and Melbourne are your go-to destinations, but be prepared to pay a pretty penny for rent. For a more laid back vibe, check out Brisbane, Perth or Adelaide. Now let's talk rentals. Websites like realestate.com.au and Domain are your best bet for finding a place when inspecting properties. Be sure to ask about bond payments, usually four weeks rent and where the bills are included. Oh, and a hot tip. Consider looking for a place with air conditioning, especially if you're moving to a warmer climate. Trust me, you'll thank me later. 
Outro, your Aussie adventure awaits. Well, there you have it, your whistle-stop tour of how to make your Aussie dream a reality. It's a land of sunshine, laughter, and endless opportunities, and I have no doubt you'll fall head over heels for it, just like I did. Remember, migrating to a new country can be daunting, but it's also an incredible adventure. Embrace the challenges, keep an open mind, and most importantly, have a bloody good time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with a plate of fairy bread and a game of backyard cricket. Cheers, mates.